One last thing I want to show you is how I modified the OVA for VIDM to give it more space for when we do builds because obviously we needed it in this circumstance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ovftool.exe allow extra config skip manifest check I'm going to point it there we go I'm going to point it at my OVA and then we're going to name the we're going to name an OVF we're going to call it new VIDM and so this is going to create an OVF file that we're going to modify and then we're going to repack so this is essentially doing is it's it's pulling everything out so you can see here we have all of our all of our stuff now so we're going to open the manifest file and see here you got this shows you basically all the different all the different things and their their thumbprints. So what we really care about is this. And so you can see here, say I want this to be a, a capacity of 100 gigs. This so shows you everything, helps you understand all that good stuff. So the idea is you can change anything. So you can see here what these disks are. That's the system disk. Then there's the DB and the Tomcat. Which is basically the horizon folder, I believe. And it shows you the populate sizes and all that good stuff. And, and it's all good, right? So basically, I go in here, I modify the capacity. We save that file. And so, if you just zip these back together, it would say the thumbprints don't match. So now what we have to do is we're going to go back in here and we're going to rebuild it. So we're going to go ovftool.exe allow extra config and we're going to point it at that OVF that we just built new VIDM that OVF and we're now going to call it new VIDM that OVA oh wait that's right why does that not work I'll tell you why because now we have to actually calculate the new SHA like we talked about in the last file so by changing the OVF which you did, you now have to recalculate it. So wait, there's more. And this is the things things that we learn when we don't pay attention too well. So we're gonna go back to PowerShell and we actually need the OVF. And we're gonna grab that. We're gonna copy it. We're going back to our folder again. Going back into our manifest. And we're actually going to put that in there because that was the right one. And that's the lesson is that you want to make sure that you actually pay attention. Now it's repackaging our OVA with that new disk space size. You can see it completed successfully and you're ready to go.